trust, so pay we must, we I pledge allegiance to the card of the United States of Credit, one nation under debt, with bankruptcies, late fees, and high interest for all. Credit. We can't live without it, and many of us can't live with it. In fact, right now, the United States of America and its people are kept alive by all the money we borrow. It's been called the democratization of credit, but for many, it leads to the democratization of dependency. Just look at all the ads on TV selling us more ways to take out loans. Behind our formal institutions and more powerful than our politicians is a hidden financial complex driving what the country's leading academic expert on the issue, Robert Manning, dubs our credit card nation. We're seeing people who are dependent on credit. We're seeing them trying to struggle and make their minimum payments where their ability to pursue the American dream is how much credit the bank is going to offer them. Hey, it's only money. Other people's money, or what we call OPM. We're all living beyond our means. We're all living on credit. We're all living with debt, and it's growing every single day. The national savings rate is now zero. Americans spend more than we earn. It's never been like that before. And I have to deal with it also. I have mortgages. I have credit cards. I have all kinds of other loans. Meanwhile, my savings account is shrinking away. I started to make this film about other people's problems, and I realized it was about me, too. I'm facing a credit squeeze that is as personal as it is political. The question, can we even live without credit cards? Let's spend a few minutes with a certain individual we'll call Mr. Money. The idea of credit used to be so simple. Hello, I'm Mr. Money. People can't seem to get along without me as cash or credit. What does credit mean to you? Gosh, I don't know. Buy now and pay later, I guess. Not bad. But there's a lot more to it than that. 